Okay. I'm just going to start. So, <clears throat> I'm going to just kind of go through. I'm going to like kind of recreate it as I did. As I did on the on the day I made it. Um, okay. So it's a chop up of this. I know you think that I shouldn't still love you or tell you that. What the fuck? But if I didn't say it, well, I'd still have felt it. Where's the sense in that? I promise I'm not trying to make your life. I know you think that I shouldn't still turn to where we were. I reversed it and then and then try and find nice nice moments in it yeah you can hear that Guess the moment. Going through how I found how I chopped that that main thing. Just trying to find nice moments, like nice chords. You're like, okay, cool. That sounds. That's a nice moment. This is a nice moment. Was the was 
Chop up of that, really. faster. Yeah, this, I mean, this, this is going to be... This is going to be all archived on my Twitch, so if you missed the beginning, then you can watch it back. So as you can see, like that's just kind of where it's all coming from. That's how that's the that's the chop, the Dido cover. Talk to me again. I mean, the amount of songs I've made that are just reversed versions of old songs I've made, it's kind of handy because I don't know when you run out of ideas for chords. Oh, 
Why does it keep saying that I've disconnected? Have I? No. Um, okay, cool. Um, so that's the chop white flag cover. And then. Layer that with a sub. June, this is my favorite for subs like this. To give it like a bounce, this is the thing. I think it's also June, yeah. Questions so far? <laughs> Seems pretty straightforward, really. This is all just portal is really fine. I don't want port. Don't know what's doing exactly here. N nothing. But towards the end of the song, you can really hear. You can hear that. That's the that's the hook of that, really. I, I, re I realize that everyone says that this section here sounds like a Twig song. I hadn't actually really heard that one, but it was actually inspired by the Aphex Twin track Vord Hospen. That's the kind of, that's what I was really listening to when I made that. Um, but it's funny because everyone says it sounds like a Twig song. But that Aphex Twin track is really the, this section I mean. Splice is really good for finding samples of drums. So this section here is just really just trying to make it sound as like, I was listening to a lot of Drexia. A song called Digital Tsunami by Drexia was definitely like a song I've always really wanted to, a feeling of a song I've really wanted to, um, have of my own. Digital Tsunami by Drexia. I don't know how you spell Drexia. Something to get the snare is really light. So something to give that snare an extra like This is really just standard this is a really basic sounding drums. The drums here isn't um the drums here aren't really interesting by themselves, but 
you know, that's, they just need to give the energy. This is the this this version of the song you can hear the old vocals so when i did the vocals of this just to make the melody and the feeling of it it was just it was just gibberish i think this is the first this is this line is actually the original line <laughs> gibberish here So that's just like, again, I didn't actually just, I just did gibberish really slowly and sped the whole thing up on a whim again. And then made the melody just by like trying out different things here. So the the, mel the vocal that was went in was just a... Just one note the whole way through. And then I could kind of move it around in here based off of... Make a sad girl, sad girl happy. I don't know what that, that's, that's not the lyrics. Um, so this is just that. Just moving this around, you can see there. The... That's how I make most of my lyrics. Okay, so this bit was just, again, the drums aren't that actually interesting as a thing, but to all together, they give a real they give a real um, thing. Uh. Figure out what the chords are doing and then just make this really nice pad. I think this is pigments. My favorite part of this bit is um, the vocal, doing the wah wah. And when together they sound really good. Wow, just a wow wow pedal. Girl, 
Any questions? Anything not anything not making sense? Any effects you want to know? He's coming to London. He's coming to the shows. I want to know who's going to see this live. How do I layer my vocals? I just like, like, that's exactly it. You just layer them. Like, it's the same vocal over and over again. The vocals are just on a basic microphone. I mean, the trick, the recording vocals isn't really a complicated thing. It's literally just recording the vocals and then you just fuck with them. Um, There aren't any effects on the vocals. <laughs> That's the thing. People always ask me, like, what effects do you use in your vocals? EQ a bit. Bit of auto tune. Tiny bit of distortion. But that's not really... It's not doing anything. The, the, it's really just... Um, there are no vocal secrets. That's the part that I've always kind of found funny is that people are like, how do you do your vocals? And it's just like... Well, yeah, I guess maybe, but like, it was recorded that, it was recorded, it's just been sped up. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'll break down the beat. It's but if you listen to it, it's just a really simple. These these hi hats are the, probably the interesting thing here, which is just like this IDM style hi hat pattern. Kick has this that reverse kick is always nice. Tiny bit of trash on it. I don't know if that even makes a difference to what's happening here, though. No, it doesn't actually do anything to it. And the kick has nothing on it. You just need to find a good sounding kick. The kick has zero effects. Compression is everything. I would get this. This everything has just like an API to API to five hundred.
the cast them up. Harmonizer VST, what, what, which one is that? I, I don't think there is a harmonizer VST on it. Uh, how do you arrange your stereo field? Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Oh, this is just um, vocals all stacked doing different harmonies. Oh yeah, no, it's there's no harmonizer on that either. It's all just um. The same vocal and then dragged into flex pitch doing different harmonies so it's the same take but then you just kind of drag all like here you just drag all the things to make like a different harmony like this bit here it's the same take and then here again this is the old vocal so this isn't actually the final lyrics vocal that's why it sounds a bit gibberishy. This kit, this, 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 uh, Fail is just a IDM kind of splice chop. This whole section, that June, the easy, the nicest sounding. I'm gonna try and find out what kind of camera it was. It's called a... It's just a, it's a, it's a night vision wildlife camera. It's like this. There, there are tons, there are tons of different, um, there are tons of different types, but they're all they're all the same. Looks like this. See that? That was how the music video was filmed on. Now this is where the vocal effects kind of starts to come in. Yeah, it was so fucking difficult trying to write lyrics to the song. It took ages to try and find it because I didn't want to lose any of the essence of the vocal melody that I kind of scribbled out. 
so I had to make words to fit that and it was fucking hard. <laughs> really difficult. Took ages. I can't like yeah. But this is it, just pitched down now. <laughs> on flex pitch again. You don't have that on any other one. On Ableton, which is really annoying. Well, not really for me, but this is a good. JGP strings. The thing about this song that I was trying to do is that have every ex every section be completely different from the last one, but just keeping the same chords. See how many different variations of a song you can have in one song. This next section, this next section is kind of the bit, it's kind of, I had this, towards the end of the song I wanted to have a bit more going on, so I wrote this, this thing to go with the, the hi-hats, like a melody. the kind of bit that was like okay that feels like a complete real a real resolution feeling to it with a bit of the old drums so it's kind of merging a bit of the previous sections all together but then when i was playing around with this which is just a chop up of my voice it's 
same 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 vocal sample I use on everything for chords. But then I think I was moving it around a bit. What was it doing? What, what did I do to get that? Yeah, I moved it around a bit to a different part of the vocal sample. I can't remember how I did that. Hold on. So yeah. Moving it around, shit. Moving it back a bit, and then it became, it became this like much creepier melody. Same thing, just a vocal sample of my voice. Same thing here, just have chords. Sounds like it's the same kind of feeling as only seeing God when I come. It's the same kind of structure, same sound stuff. That's it without it. Portal is really good. I don't understand what it does. It just makes everything sound really interesting. Good V E Q is my favorite EQ. People always ask that. I don't know why. Um really simple.
I wanted the drums to not have too much kicks in them. That's why the whole kick is kind of just every so often. Bit more there. That's just this. Get a drum loop and then chop up a little bit of it. I'm not sure why that's there. That doesn't do much. That. Idiotech vibes for sure. It's definitely like my favorite song. Last section here. Just wanted, I just didn't know how to make the ending sound kind of like big, but then this synth kind of came along. really good. This is just the chords. I don't know what's doing actually. Yeah, it's the same as this. Put like a gate on it so that it sounds, the gate just kind of cuts off every first part of it. Thank you. 
basic mix stuff, the main mix stuff I do is always just a bit of EQ and a bit of compression. These are the two I would get. API 2500, 2500, and a VEQ. And then they're just really simple. Trash is always one I'm telling people to get. And all these things just have really good presets. I don't really fuck around too much inside them. I just kind of let the presets. UAD API, yeah. Questions, any questions? It was quicker than I thought of breaking it down. I thought that would take longer. So maybe I've missed stuff. The lyric writing process, I mean, this is, you can just hear that the first part is just gibberish and then it's just. <laughs> I don't have a pitch shift on my vocals, it's just flex pitch sometimes just moves up a bit. Um, the lyric process is just filling in the gibberish of what sounds nice, what's, what does it because on a, a lot of these things you can kind of hear words that your voice naturally just went to go say in the gibberish format and then it's just like finding what does that gibberish sentence kind of sound like what does it sound like I was trying to say when I did it just off the top of my head, I didn't freestyle anything like there are no words there but you'll hear things like Like, like that. It sounds like sad, sad, happy. At first, I was going to say, thinking, oh, why am I so un unhappy? But that didn't sound like, I didn't like that. Why am I so unhappy? So thinking that no sad, no happy, and then it doesn't really make sense. It's just like it's just filling in those kind of gibberish because the melody always comes first for me. the vocal chain the vocal chain isn't anything interesting it's just mm -hmm. if compression and some compression and some um eq always put through flex pitch in the flex pitch you can do things like <laughs> You can change the format here, format shifts, so you can kind of fuck around with different. Yeah. 
that's kind of it. Covered everything. It's kind of covered everything. I'm going to come back on and just do... I'm going to fuck around for a bit before I have to go out. Um, any other questions? That's kind of covered all of it. Kepco is a chair. What does kept mean? Kept. This is a Kepco. That's a Kepco. I know, weird. Um, See through chair. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come back immediately and just fuck around and make some stuff. Um, Tomorrow I'm going to drop a link to, because tomorrow is actually the anniversary of Romeo. So as like a kind of nice thing, I'm just going to drop some stems. Um, not a lot of stems, like literally like maybe like six or seven. Um of select moments from the album. So yeah, you should look out for that because that's um, something you guys can play around with. I don't know if you can make edits, let you do what you want. Uh, I'm gonna save this stream and then I'm gonna come back. Two secs.